Hello and welcome. Welcome to the Midweek Amateur Radio Chat. Hello, my name is Carl. I'm 2 Echo Zero, Echo Zulu Tango. I am a intermediate licensed amateur radio operator here in the UK. The intermediate license is between the foundation and the advanced license, so it's the midway point in the licensing system in the UK. For those of you who are new to this channel, I tend to have a video, about one video a week, where I take the radio equipment out portable. Um, so, um, usually found on a Sunday, you'll get an outdoor video from me looking at a backpack portable and all sorts of uh, outdoor backpack um, outdoorsy type videos. And then <clears throat> about once a week, we do a midweek chat. And then on, on the other occasion, I also put out a few videos from inside the shack, inside the radio room, um, focusing on different topics. So, <clears throat> I'll just get the glasses back on. So, <clears throat> uh, th this week uh, I've got a, an APRS uh, introduction video coming out. It's um, scheduled for Friday. So it's, a, it's an introduction to APRS, exploring some of the features that are in some ways underused so the video is uh, focused on is APR APRS still relevant in the 21st century so that's coming out this Friday um, uh, and amongst some of the other videos that I've been doing outdoors you will see on occasion I start to try and um, bring in APRS and I have been holding back on trying to do a video on this mode for, for a while because even I'm quite new to it. I didn't want to just do a, a Wikipedia um, read and then pretend that I know all about the mode. You know, have a uh, you know have all the information on the screen and just read it out to camera. Uh, I, you know, I uh, like most of my videos. I try and actually get outdoors and do and do the thing that I'm talking about. Um, you know, YouTube's got plenty of videos of people talking about bug out bags and EDC and prepping and all sorts but they tend to do it from inside their own house so uh, whereas I actually prefer to be outdoors and doing that activity and then having a discussion about it so <clears throat> there is a video coming out on uh, APRS which I do from here inside a radio shack um, uh, using uh, using the uh, Camel THD74 but then over time I'll start to link together all of the other videos that I have that feature APRS into a playlist as well so over time there will be a number of videos on that particular topic. The uh, 2 meter Halo um, version 2 is currently up on the pole in the back garden uh, I've had uh, two or three contacts now from here on that new version of the antenna. It's a 2 meter halo antenna. I will soon be bringing it down off the pole, putting it onto a backpack and taking it out for a proper field test. But um, version 2 of the antenna is, um, is made differently this time, using different materials to make up the element on it and uh, getting uh, much better results um, <clears throat> compared to the first antenna in the receive of, of you know, what I'm receiving through the antenna. I've still got a fair way to go to testing this because uh, two meters as well as four and six meters uh, is underused. So come on guys, we need to actually get out there and use these modes much more. There's a lot of fun to be had from six four and two meters so uh, come on everybody let's let's get out there and get these modes used so uh, i've not put a video yet on version two i need to, i need to take the, the antenna out in the field i'll get a video of it uh, actually out there as well so that will be coming up in the next few weeks uh, this past weekend i've just come back from an overnighter um where i've used hf and vhf that's coming out in a few weeks but um before that, uh, there's a couple more videos that I've got where I do some day camping uh, just to test out some of the gear. So um, I wanted just to make sure that I could uh, take out the right shelter, the shelter equipment, 
um, uh, food, um, radio and camera equipment. So uh, there's a couple of videos coming out over the next couple of Sundays, which is just testing some of these, um, some of this kit out and my techniques. It's been a while since I've hammock camped. And then maybe in about three weeks time, I've scheduled the, the proper overnight trip that will be coming out at that point. So there's two test runs coming out and then there's the, the main overnight uh, camp. The, uh, we're, we're entering spring now. It's, at times it still feels a bit like winter, especially when you're camping out in the hammock. Uh, but as we start to enter into winter, we should start getting a little bit more stable weather which makes it easier for getting out onto the peaks, onto the high ground as well. So I will start to do more videos from higher ground. It's just that over the past few weeks and for the next few weeks, I I love um, woodlands, um, bush camp, bushcraft camping. So I'll be doing a bit more of that. And it makes it quite interesting to um, actually try and operate amateur radio from inside a wood. Um, some of the woodland around here is in, are in valleys as well so rather than just going to a soda spot and getting a high ground and st you know getting a, a radio in the air um, it, it is quite challenging to actually go into a valley and try and get a signal out of a valley so that's what I have been doing I will continue to do that um, but as spring and summer arrive I will be getting back onto the, the hills as well to get into the higher ground so lots of stuff coming up from for the outdoor portable radio. Um, I've got a video which is in the pipeline looking at a backpack portable, how to have all of the equipment into a backpack that you can just grab and get out the door with that radio and that backpack. So that's already been filmed now, I just need to edit that. So that'll come out in the next few weeks as well. So there's plenty of uh, great stuff in there uh, to look forward to. So um, this, this week I've been uh, looking at JS8, the JS8 call um, mode. Uh, it's one of the comments in the previous video uh, um, said that you, you, you may like that because it is more of a keyboard to keyboard mode. Whereas I'm not a huge fan on um, macro uh, modes where you just fire off or auto um, sending macros to each other. Um, so JS8, it is a really fascinating mode. I've only just started scratching the surface on that. Um, you know, JS8 and APRS are very much linked together as well. So that's very interesting. So I will dive deeper into JS8 and then put a video together of using that mode. I'd prefer to learn it first and then take it out into the field and use it out on the muddy hill rather than sitting here purely in the, sh in, the, in the shack, just running the mode. I want to actually see how it works with a, a station that's slightly compromised because it's, you know, you have to fit it all into a, a backpack. So JS8 call will, will be coming out at some point on a video once I get to know how to use that. But in the meantime, we've been using PSK31 for keyboard to keyboard chat and it's a great mode to um, don't forget about that mode it's fantastic very active on 40 and 20 so uh, just have a look at that mode as well uh, fell hell fouled hell mode <clears throat> I, I do put cq calls out however it's i don't get any responses to it so if you want to arrange your sked drop it into the comments below i'm happy to arrange a, a scheduled time and we'll try and get Feldhal working. I've not got 80 meters here at the moment. I've taken on the wire for 80. So I've only got down to 40. So I am slightly restricted to what mode, what, what band I can use for Feldhal. And um, there are some uh, nets for that particular mode, but because they're um, either US based or uh, um, European based they tend to be at one o'clock in the morning which is not good for me so the main modes at the moment that I'm playing with are APRS JS8 and then also PSK31 so I uh, just read you some comments out and then I think that'll be it for today really it's a short one today again it's a, a busy week 
um, so I want to just try and get a lot in uh, with it as well. So uh, there's a comment here um, from Lou Archer, Mad Dogs, an Englishman out in the weather. A good stroke um, with your homemade halo. Cheers, mate. Now, when you get the second one phased in, that'll be ace. So I am going to build two version, two of it. Um, I've got one already currently on, on test. I'm going to build a second one and put them into phase because I want to re really try out the gain that we can get having phased at halos. So I'm really interested in getting that working. Um, <clears throat> uh, Tony's asked, a nice one, Carl, where did you find that backpack? I'm on the lookout for that uh, one that, that has lots of internal pockets. So I've been using the Maxpedition Gear Slinger on many of the previous videos. That's the one that's just a one strap on it. It's a fantastic uh, backpack. However, when you start to overload the weight in it, uh, even though it's got a clip to try and balance it out on your back, it does pull down to one side. So with the Gear Slinger, I would say that's for ultra lightweight uh, operation. The, I've now got a 511 uh, Rush 12 bag, which is a 12 hour EDC bag. I've been using that one. Uh, there's a video coming out um, with the, that's the grab, grab and go bag video. That will uh, give a, a demo of that bag in use. But you've also seen the 511 Rush 24 bag, which is the green one that I've got. That one I've been using in the past few videos. That's for more day camping where we want a bit more uh, kit in there as well. So I've got uh, I've got three sizes there that have three different purposes, but so uh, but I tend to use um, a Max Edition or Five Eleven because uh, I, it, it, they, you do pay more up front. However, uh, they do get ragged about and thrown about, and I'd, I want them to last. I want to grow old with me. Whereas if I bought a cheap version of them, you know, there's no no guarantee that stitching won't go on them or the um, they won't protect your gear. So uh, the pension prepper, um, yes, it works. Great stuff. This is about a two meter halo. Uh, too many people on, not too many people on six and uh, even less on four. Um, you can sit on uh, four meters and call in for, for a while and not get any response. Yes, it, <clears throat> it's a bit like that round here as well. Um, even when you use a web SDR and actually monitor, the frequency it's very quiet especially on fm fm super quiet on the four meters <clears throat> however and and as um, uh, the pension uh, prepper points out as larry points out that actually uh, it does mean that there's some nice clear frequencies to arrange a sked and this is something that i want to do actually i want to arrange with a group of uh, operators uh, who are close to where i live to uh, meet up and then drive out to locations and actually use at four meters, six meters and two meters. So if anybody wants to actually arrange a meetup, I am more than happy to uh, arrange that we can meet up somewhere in the Peak District. We can then pick three spots or four spots to go to and run through a, a series of um, uh, tests or field tests of these modes and just grab some video from that. So it should be a, a fun day out. Uh, bring a flask um, so anybody want to arrange or, or you want to meet up and do that please get in touch below uh, yeah success well done Carl uh, the sunny days are coming yes the sunny days are coming or at least more stable drier weather uh, is coming it means that we can get out without the the mud and the misery a bit more I don't mind a bit of mud and a bit of misery but when it's week after week you start thinking okay my fingers can't pull up with the cold much more so fingers crossed we're going to get a bit a bit of a more of a drier season coming compared to what we ha have had so <clears throat> that's it for the comments today please keep them coming in <clears throat> they're absolutely valuable it's really i really appreciate the uh, the input that we're getting on on the channel and uh, yeah keep an eye out for the videos coming out and don't forget to drop any comments in below I respond to all of them. You may see just a, a like on some of them. That usually is me liking them. And where I can, I respond uh, as well. So thank you very much, guys. Uh, you're making the channel um, really well uh, worth the investment. So uh, looking forward to the next one. <clears throat> Have a good week, chaps. Bye-bye for now.